Lord Toy Toy here. Now then, somebody suggested I make an additional videogram because people are asking who is Lord Toy Toy. Uh, cheers, with a little swig of Nanny's cocoa. Get me going. Uh, the idea was I'd film out here by the launch for the, the lighting, you see. Who is Lord Toy Toy? So you could look me up in Burke's Peerage, page 789 or whatever it might be, Toy Toy, and you wouldn't find me there, and there's a reason for that. Let me explain. The point is that I am Mike Cashman's imaginary Brexity friend. Now then, who is Mike Cashman, you may then ask? Well, he's this bloke who's written these bloody awful books about Brexit. So you've got, and other things, you've got Brexit's a trick, not a treat, uh, which is not really what one should say. I mean, obviously it is a trick, but, you know, it's not good form to reveal it in verse, as he has done. And that might have been fine, but he then went on and produced a whole damn musical. Brexit's a musical trick. And he only used every tune from Les Miserables, damn him. Do or die. At the end of the day, we have need of a leader. Lovely tax breaks, supposedly. One day more at Chequers. Empty houses, empty benches. Cheek of him. And you might have thought that was enough. But you know what he did then? He got Leon Berger of the English National Opera, John Asher of Tis Was, Zena Wigram, others, Georgie Holden, Elga Perry, and produced a whole damn CD of the thing. Uh, and and you can you can even get it on, on USB if you don't have a, a, a CD drive on your computer equipment. You can probably just plug that in and play the song. So bloody stuff's everywhere. Uh, and, and, and then he came up with his book, I Don't Beg Pardon, I'm Talking Bollocks from the Rose Garden. Uh, well, fair enough. Obviously it was complete bollocks what was uttered there. All that claptrap about Barnard Castle. Still, doesn't do to put the whole thing in a book. Uh, he even had Britannia waves the rules. All sorts of other stuff. Ill with Covid. The archers comment. Portaloo Brexit. Kent Convoy. All sorts of stuff. Boris has got a little list. Anyway, you would have thought that was the, the end of it, but no. Many of the same people, and some of his family, ended up singing these songs, Stay in Your House or Flat, Barnard Castle, Dom's Ditty, Man Up, Mask Up, Protect Another Life, Second Wave Reflections. Where, where will it end? That's even on USB as well. So, he's written all this bloody stuff, uh, and he's got a website for it, www.vudelta.com. Um, but he also does this blog, www.viewdelta.blogspot.com. Now then, this is where I come in as the imaginary friend. Because you may think it's a little bit juvenile for a grown man to have an imaginary friend. And normally I would agree with you. But in this case, there are some mitigating circumstances. Because he was writing these things in his blog, trying to get the pro-Brexit point of view as well as the anti-Brexit point of view for balance, and I understand that. Um, and his difficulty was that he knew people who said they were pro-Brexit, but they all went a little bit coy, you see. Um, they would write things like, I, I think I'm in favour of Brexit, but um, I'm not really prepared to talk about it. Um, I even had somebody who said, yes, I'll, I'll come round and have a coffee with you and I'll talk about Brexit uh, and explain why I think the things that I think. So that's what he said. Um, but you know what? Uh, then the person chickened out, said they were tired weren't coming. So that was the end of that. So he needed some imaginary friend, you see, and needed somebody who could represent 
the pro-Brexit point of view. Didn't have anybody, invented me. Now this does create a somewhat unequal relationship because if for one moment he stops thinking about me, I would simply disappear. You see, like that. Um, so the best thing that you can do, please, if uh, you wish to, me to continue in existence, is watch my videograms on your tubes. Um, I do trust Mike, basically. Uh, he's an honourable man, and I've known him all my life, uh, which is about four weeks so far. Um, but just in case you watch my videograms, then I shall continue to be in existence. Lord Tory Tory. T-O-R-I, T-O-R-I. Thank you very much. Um, Simpkins, I think, uh, I, I think that's a, a full explanation. What do you think? Yes, I thought so. Oh, do you think I went on a bit too long about the bloody books? Yes, no, you're probably right there. Oh well. Right, let's go and have another one. Um, you can stop watching now. I've finished. Okay. Oh, yes. Oh, I keep forgetting that. Uh, which, uh, wh what do I need to do? The red... It's actually a red square, isn't it, with a white circle around it. That may be what's confusing me. All right. Oh, hello. A Simkins says, what I ought to get you to do is to subscribe to the channel on your tubes, you see, that has the videograms. Uh, then if, if you do that, you'll see more of my videograms, uh, as I was saying. I, I don't think it'll cost you any money. Just have to hit this button. We'll try and put a downgrade button in the middle of this screen on this videogram. If you watch the other videograms, that will help to keep me in existence. Many, many thanks. Uh, I think that's all for this little message.